Now there's nothing more enjoyable than a dedicated gaming server that you have full control over and all your friends can join that server at any time they like. So in this video we're going to be setting up our own gaming server and it doesn't matter what it is, a Minecraft server, Valheim, Icarus, etc etc. That isn't really the focus of this video, the focus is the server and the hardware itself. Now we all know Raspberry Pis are very versatile and with the Raspberry Pi 5 it does have enough power to be a gaming server, whether that's Minecraft, Valheim or Icarus. Now Minecraft servers are probably the most common so that's what we're going to set up in this video. But like I said this is focusing on the hardware, not really the software. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is look at the hardware that we're going to be using in this video. Now we're going to be using a really cool case that has so many features packed into it, it doesn't even look like a Raspberry Pi 5 anymore. So let's go to the top down camera, have a look at the case we're going to be using for my Raspberry Pi 5 and all the extras that that comes with. So one thing I need to mention straight away and I'm absolutely gutted about this, all the footage that I took from the top down camera building this got lost. I really don't know what's happened to it and I'm absolutely gutted so we're just going to take a quick tour around the mini PC. Now on the back we have a USB-C for power, two full sized HDMI ports, the one gigabit port and four USB ports. Now these actually come from the Raspberry Pi itself. The HDMI and the USB-C, that's like a door to board that's connected. So instead of looking at the build process, let's have a look at where I got this from. I've got it from Electro. They did send it for free, but they're not the sponsor of this video. So this mini PC case costs $39.90. That's an absolute bargain. I've actually paid a lot more for cases that have a lot less. So this is how it comes. It's a kit. You get the side panels, you get the acrylic panels, you get the, the fan and the heat sink, you get three fans for cooling the whole case itself. You get all the cables, the daughter boards, the standoffs, you even get a CR1220 battery, you get the TF card reader extension, the OLED screen, you get everything in this kit for $39.90. So I'll stick a link in the description below, but this isn't sponsored or an affiliate or anything like that. They just gave me one of these for free. And I'll also put a link to the Raspberry Pi 5. So I've connected the USB-C cable, powered it on, and as you can see, all the RGB lights up, the power button lights up, and we can see that OLED screen. Now, this screen would be really handy if you're using it for a gaming server because you could have statistics from the server on there, like how many players are online, etc. But here's where I kind of messed up. So I'm just gonna power it back off again, and we're gonna have a look at the front of the device. And as you can see, that acrylic panel Unfortunately, I over tightened them as you can see here, and it's cracked that acrylic. Now, luckily, it's just the front panel, and I've got a really good idea to fix this. Now, of course, by over tightening those screws on that perspex for the front panel, I did crack it. That's completely my bad, and whenever you're using a case like this or anything with perspex, just be very gentle. It doesn't have to be tight because when the perspex heats up and cools down naturally with heat, it will crack if you're not careful. So I basically took that as an opportunity to design my own front panel and of course I wanted RGB on there. So let's have a look at the ones that I've designed for this project in Fusion 360 and then of course we will take a look at them as they've come off the printer. Now there's many different types of gaming servers and a lot of them are powered by Valve with the Valve CMD. So I thought let's make a Valve one with the Valve logo. Minecraft again is a really popular one. So we've made a Mojang one with the pickaxe. This looks really cool. And then one of my favorite games, which I'm not very good at is Rust. And of course we made a face punch one. If we click on render, you get a better idea of 
the front panels and then those clear pieces that are going to go in there we can use resin prints we can also use clear pla with an fdm printer and both work really well one just slightly better than the other now I do have a blanking plate here and I am going to put the 3D file on Maker World so people can design their own or you could just have a plain one if you so wish. If you want me to do a side panel as well for this let me know in the comments below. But of course to power all this we're going to need an ESP32. So thanks to my friends over at JLC, the sponsor of this video, we've got some ESP32s and we can load them up with WLED so we can light up those logos. So like I said, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They will bring your ideas to life in their state of the art facility. They have experts on hand to look over your files to make sure everything's going to go through. Now you can have just the PCBs or you can have all the components fitted on there as well. They're fast reliable and very competitive on pricing but how do you actually order pcbs online so let's go over to the pcb website and take a look how that process works so as you can see we're on the main home page and all you need to do is drag and drop those gerber files across and let them load you'll see an image of the front and the back of the pcb you can change from a normal PCB to a flex PCB, etc. And it'll auto populate how many layers it's got and the dimensions. Here you can select the quantity and we can also choose the thickness of the board here. And as you can see, five of these PCBs are only $2.10. So for more information and the latest offers, check the link in the description below. Thanks again to JLC PCB for your continued support. So now we've got all the prints off the printer and I have used the Bamboo Lab A1 with AMS with black and white filament so we can see the text here. Obviously you could print these just all one colour if you don't have an AMS or you could print them a different colour if you want say Mojang and Valve in blue and face punch in orange sort of their signature colors now a little bit later on we will have a look to see what the jewels look like in pla transparent clear but for now we've got some resin ones and these look amazing you can see the valve or steam logo here it's like glass basically so this is going to light up really cool it has a very unique sort of way of glowing and it, it might not be something you prefer i think it looks really cool and the fact that you can see through it as well looks really cool but it it might not be for you it's the light isn't as even as if you were to use like a, a pla printed translucent one next up we have the face punch rust logo again the quality of these resin prints are really good just look it just looks like glass again let's just pop this one in to the face punch and these fit absolutely perfect now i did actually order two of each because it's always best to have spare now this of course is the minecraft pickaxe and again this just looks amazing i think we're going to do this one first to see what it looks like so popping it in to the mojang faceplate again it just fits absolutely perfect it's gonna look awesome and i think we will build that one first now of course like i said i ordered two of each so this is just going to be another pickaxe so we can make another one so i guess it's time to get one of these put together we will do the minecraft mojang one first now i am going to speed through this footage because we've covered this a lot on the channel before and we do have a dedicated video i'll leave that linked in the description below all about the esp32s and wleds etc so what i'm going to do here is we're going to have five leds at the top five at the bottom and that should be more than enough to light it up and then we'll have a look to see what that looks like so of course i turned the lights down got it all connected up and it looks fantastic now i do have another two but i used the clear pla for these ones so we have the valve one and as you can see that's kind of a rainbowy unicorn vomit glitter sort of style that looks really cool and 
the colors do show through really nice on this and then of course we do have the face punch one as well and I've set this one to just be orange so you can see what it looks like with just a plain color on its own. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail on setting up the servo, so I'll put a written guide in the description below, but it's a simple case of using the command prompts to install everything you need, and it's all command line based. Get the server set up, then you can edit all the settings, set how many players you want, etc. etc. It's super easy to do, and like I says, I'll leave a link to a written guide in the description below. But for now, let's have a look at the final results. As I said, this Raspberry Pi 5 case is awesome. It really does look like a tiny mini PC. And if you couldn't quite get the gist of the scale, if I hold it up here, you can see how small this thing is. It's absolutely awesome, jam-packed with features. One of the best things I like about it is you can actually use an M.2 SSD and it doesn't matter if it's a 2230 all the way up to a 2280. That is a really nice touch, especially because these Raspberry Pi 5s can utilize that with having PCI Express lanes. Now, of course, you don't have to use it just as a gaming server. You can use it to actually play games on a retro machine. The possibilities are endless. I've had loads of Raspberry Pis way back to when they originally released the very first one. And I've had a lot of cases, even 3D printed cases. But this one by far is my favorite. It comes with everything you need, all the fans, the daughter boards, the screws, the OLED screen, power button, you name it. All you need to add is a Raspberry Pi 5 and the SSD. And of course that front panel that I designed with the various logos on there, I'm gonna put all of those on Maker World so they'll be all together, just one download, you'll get all of them and you just basically select which one you want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blank template file on there as well, the F3D file or something. Basically, you'll be able to upload that into Fusion 360. Again, link is in the description. Fusion 360 is free for non-commercial use. So you can have a play around with it yourself and make some of your own designs. Super easy, you just get an SVG file, stick it on the top and then cut away basically that SVG shape super easy to do and then of course you could have anything you want the possibilities are endless but i'm gonna end the video here but as always if you do enjoy my content you know what to do by now like subscribe and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads if you have any questions or you need help with any of the projects, you can put them in the comments below and you can also join the official Discord server with the link in the description below as well. So that's it from me for another video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.